Uh, what's up, YouTube? It's Ting here. Um, so I have some really, really exciting news. I I had my phone consultation with Dr. Garamoni on Monday. Um, <clears throat> he was supposed to be calling from 9 to 5. So I woke up at 9, which was a bit of a struggle for me because I usually go to bed pretty late and wake up pretty late because, you know, my work schedule allows me to do that and I'm a night person too so <clears throat> anyways um so I woke up at nine took a little nap around lunchtime um and then Dr. Garamoni finally called around three I like try not to like text or like play the um the word game or like um go on reddit or play sugar crush that game is super addictive um so in case he called you know they wouldn't be like interference or something and yeah so we called around three um i like jumped up from the couch i ran to my room to my desk i had everything set up um my notepad with my questions and like a pen in case he had he i had to write things down and also headphones to listen to him better um, because I really not, like, enjoying, I really don't enjoy talking on the phone, and, like, being like this is just, it's not pleasant to me. Anyways, um, so he asked me a few questions about my medical history, and how tall, and how much I weigh, and what I identify as, and things like that. Um, he sounded pretty, pretty monotone um on the phone asking these questions but i think just because like he's been um he's asked this these questions like a million times already right um but he was really nice he answered my questions afterwards i asked him if because i'm not on testosterone so if i'm if when i get my period if my chest would still be sore um and he said no, but, like, they could still get sore, but not to the intensity that they are now, um, because they only take away 95% of the breast tissue, and not 100%, just because it would look, like, it would not, it would look weird or something, at, at least that's my, like, half-ass understanding of, um, his answer, um, um, and I also asked him how I should prepare my body for surgery, um, you know, if I should stop drinking, or if there's some, something that I should eat, or I'm not really sure, or drink, um, he said no, he just said, like, general health and, like, exercise, it's fine, um, so I'm not too worried about it, because I'm pretty healthy, generally, um, I eat pretty well, and I work out, um, yeah, I work out, I try to work out a lot, um, but I th I've been doing a lot of push-ups to help build my chest a little bit, or just, like, have the muscles, um, show a little bit more, but, which is, but last night I watched a video, and this guy was saying that his doctor told him not to work out, um, so I'm not really sure what to do, I think I'm still gonna keep working out, but... I think it just depends on different doctors and their way of um, attacking the surgery, I guess. Attacking sounds really um, violent. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. Whatever. Dr. Gamroni didn't really say anything, so I think I'll be fine. Um, and then he transferred me to the front desk. I talked to Jessica. She was very nice. Um, I've set a date, put down my deposit, um, the date is March 19th, which is coming up 19 days, um, totally forgot that February had only 28 days, um, anyways, so in 19 days I will be under the knife, um, it was their only date in March, so I just had, I had to take it, <sighs> April is too far, and March is perfect because my mom is coming end of March. So, you know, like, she'll be here to take care of me. 
once I come back from Florida. And um, the person that I'm going with, she graduated from university not too long ago, and she's still looking for a job, so she's um, uncommitted at the moment. So um, it's kind of perfect, you know, it's good. And what else? And uh, my mom was so cute. She, <laughs> I talked to her last night or two nights ago, actually. I told her about the surgery, um, the date being set and everything. And she was like, oh, make sure that, you know, you thank your friend. Make sure um, you warn her that you're going to be really grumpy and you're not going to be yourself. So you might snap at her after surgery because you're going to be in a lot of pain. Um, which is true, these are things that I should do, that, you know, um, but I just think that it's really cute that she actually mentioned that, and she also said that she couldn't wait to come back and make me fish soup and other, um, Asian healing remedies, um, I don't know, like, black chicken or something, I don't really know, um, cause she's afraid that I won't be, um, used to the western ways of healing <laughs> um which it's kind of funny um because i've i mean i'm pretty i've i've grew up here you know i grew i grew up in montreal so i'm pretty used to western food <laughs> but i think that um I think it's cute, and I'm happy that my mom is so okay with it, and that she's excited to come back and take care of me. Um, yeah, even though I told her about working out and stuff, she's like, maybe you don't have to get so buff, you know, like, you can stay the way you are. <laughs> um, it's cute. Anyways, moms, what can you do? Um, and I'm gonna have to email my dad, because I, we don't really talk on the phone, and so, yeah, I should do that. Check out my shirt, guys. Christmas! <laughs> um, yeah, and what else? I booked, I haven't booked the flight yet. Um, my roommate just got up, she's being noisy. My, I haven't booked the flight yet, I will do that very soon. I'm going to be staying at New Beginnings Retreat. I'm very excited about that. heard a lot of good things about it. And it's like the hype and just the fact that something like that exists for us. It's it's, it's amazing. Um, I'm excited to meet the owners. And I'm excited to meet other guys uh, staying there, going through the same thing. Um, I'm excited to be in Florida. You know, just hella snow here, um, snowstorm after snowstorm, it's slushy, it's disgusting, um, I'm just excited to take the plane, I'm excited to, for plane food, I love planes, don't know why, um, I'm excited to get away and come back a new person, I'm excited to start my new life, oh, it's exciting, um, I have a lot of, I should, like, use, like, the source to find another word for exciting um and what else yeah i have a lot to do 19 days i still need to talk to both my jobs i still need to see a doctor to get my medical stuff um done and sent i'm gonna do that tomorrow early morning um i've been i'm gonna be working a lot so yeah keeping busy until the day comes I'm excited can't wait to share with you guys, my new chest, and my experience. Fucking excited. Peace. <laughs>